Mr. Vertanen? David Elton from hospice. Can I come in? So, Mr. Vertanen, uh, you were born in Finland. I thought maybe you'd want to know a little bit about me, so I um, brought you some photos. I'm sure we have a few things in common. We both lost our wives. How long has it been? Almost a year. Feels longer, though. with Finns that have stayed in Finland. So you've never gone back? Thank goodness. That's a girl pregnant. I guess I ruined her life, but she sure saved mine. It's what got me away. There's no justice. Here. I only got my slippers on. You go in, get me a bottle of Finlandia vodka. David, it's Tracy. We, uh, I was your wife's... Hospice worker, yeah. Wow. My wife, Marilyn, she kept trying to fix us up. Oh, I don't know about that. Oh, she did. It's all right, though. Last few weeks, she was kind of trying to fix me up with everybody. Right. Well, um, I'm actually here regarding Mr. Nico Vertanen. You're down as his hospice volunteer? Sorry. I have to ask, uh, did he mention to you his final wishes? Yeah, he wanted a bottle of vodka. I meant his remains. We're only asking because he, he has no next of kin and we need a signature to cremate. Well, yeah, he told me he has a grown child somewhere in Finland. There's five million people in Finland. Well, let me see what I can track down. Okay. David? David. Peggy Noonan. We, uh, we haven't seen you here all season. This is a good one that you chose tonight, this concert. Sibelius, you know, the great Finn. Yes, <laughs> yes. You, uh, you sent Marilyn that blue silk from your sailing trip. You know, she made the most beautiful dress out of it. David, we were so sorry to hear. Bob left you a message. Did you get that? Yes. You should come singing again. It'll do you good. Pigs. He has his own thing. Oh, no, I'd love to. I would. But I'm busy these days. I'm volunteering for the Hospice Society. Oh, good. Great. Well, we, I, uh, I hope it brings you comfort, David. It's a good cause. It really is. These people, they have nobody. Oh. You better get in there. Sure. <laughs> well. We will definitely be giving you a call. Excellent. Enjoy the music.
Dear Mr. Elton, I was surprised to receive your letter. My mother, she was bitter and refused to speak of my father. When I see the envelope, I think, who do I know in Canada? Kind are you for trouble to contact me. May you do one more favor? I'm arriving on 5 November to arrange my father, his affairs. Mr. Elton, if you would be so kind, I would be very pleased to meet you.